all aboard with chaos. Hey everyone and welcome back for another episode of All Aboard with Chaos. <laughs> That's right, we're back again. Today, something a little bit different that I've got for you, we're going to carry out a time trial. That's right, we're going to carry out a time trial. Basically, I'm going to pit five steam locomotives against each other. We're going to have a number of different laps that they have to do. And basically, we're going to time each one and just see which one is the fastest. Alright, so grab a brew, strap yourselves in and let's roll the time trial. Let's go. So to start with, we have got the LMS Coronation class and it is Coronation herself. So she's going to be doing the first the first run, then we've got Mallard, number 4468, then we've got Battle of Britain class fighter pilot, then we've got another A4 Pacific, Sir Nigel Grizzly, and then finally we've got Flying Scotsman. So there we go. What a lineup. Round one. Okay, so here we are for round one. We've got the Flying Scotsman, Coronation and Mallard. And it's go, go, go. There we go. All three locomotives flying off now. We've got Coronation and Flying Scotsman fighting for first place. Mallard taking up the second place there, but he's fighting fast. And all three locos are absolutely gunning it. Look at this. It's so close between all three locos. They're all going around to complete lap one. Coronation's first through, but then followed by Mallard and Flying Scotsman. It's all going well. And who is going to take this one? We're only doing two laps here, people. Two laps. And at the minute, Coronation is leading the front, but it's fight. It's a bum fight between Flying Scotsman and Mallard. Who's going to finish this in first place? And across the line, it's the Flying Scotsman and Coronation. Okay, so here we are with the two remaining locos from round one. Getting ready to go. Three, two, one, go, go, go. It's Sir Nigel Gresley versus Fighter Pilot. And we're off to a steady start here. Both locos going quite slowly, especially compared to the other three locos in this round. This is a steady start. Coming around the second corner there, and Fighter Pilot is just ahead of Sir Nigel Gresley. The Sir Nigel Gresley is lagging a bit. And Fighter Pilot's onto the last straight there, ready to complete lap one. Coming around the final corner. And through the start finish line to complete lap one. Followed by Sir Nigel Gresley. The Sir Nigel Gresley is lagging behind here. Fighter Pilot is leading the way. Going into the second turn now. And Sir Nigel Gresley is still on that first straight. Coming around the back corner now. The Fighter Pilot is leading the way still. Quite far ahead of Sir Nigel Gresley. Sir Nigel Gresley is just coming onto the final straight. But. The fighter pilot is across the line in 56.12. Fantastic. And where is Sir Nigel Gresley? There we go. Crosses the line in 101.75. Well, that was a slow one, chaps and chapesses. That was a slow one. All right, there we go, folks. Well, that brings us to the end of round one. So here are the results. We have Coronation, 34 seconds, point three one. Flying Scotsman, 34 seconds, point three one. Mallard, 34 seconds, point eight eight. Fighter Pilot, 56 seconds, point one two. And finally, Sir Nigel Gresley in last place in one minute, one second, point seven five. So there we go. That's the end of round one. And from that, Fighter Pilot and Sir Nigel Gresley will be knocked out. They will not progress to the next round. So, moving on. Round two. Okay, so here we are for round two. We've got the Coronation, the Mallard and the Flying Scotsman. And it's go, go, go. All three locomotives off with a good start there. And the Coronation is already pulling ahead. And it's head to head for the Flying Scotsman and the Mallard as they go around the second corner. Coronation's already coming onto the back straight there and she's coming round for the final corner to complete lap one. Mallard and Flying Scotsman are lagging behind here but they're neck and neck with each other just crossing the finish line there for the end of lap one and it's all go, go, go. Coronation is out well ahead in the field there leading the way with the other two fighting for second place behind her. Coronation is absolutely going for it. That's two laps completed for Coronation. 
My lads, just got across the line there, followed by Flying Scotsman. So we've got our one, two, three at the minute. Coronation is doing a really good job out in front, followed by Mallard and then Flying Scotsman pulling up the rear. This is it now, this, we're doing really well here. And Coronation crosses the line there to complete lap three. She's absolutely well ahead of the other two locos. And there goes Mallard completing lap three and Flying Scotsman. We've got a great race going on here. Coronation is absolutely flying. Mallard is well ahead of Flying Scotsman and Flying Scotsman is struggling to keep up with the other two. That's four laps completed now for Coronation. Four laps completed for Mallard and four laps completed for Flying Scotsman. This is it now. What is going to be the finish time? Coronation's coming across now and finishes in 1.13. That's a fantastic run by Coronation. And now all eyes turn to Mallard and Flying Scotsman. What we're going to have for the finish times here. Here comes Mallard finishing in 1.21, followed by Flying Scotsman in 1.24. What a fantastic round that was. Coronation absolutely leading the pack there. What a race. So there we go, folks. That brings us to the end of round two, and the results are in. The results are in. It's all hotting up now. So, in first place, we have Coronation, who completed five laps in a time of 1 minute 13 seconds and 53. Excellent. In second place, we have Mallard, who completed the five laps in 1 minute 21 seconds, 0.72 quite far behind the coronation that was and in third place unexpectedly but in third place we have the flying scotsman who completed all five laps in one minute 24 seconds point two two so there we go all three locos will now be going on to the final round which will be 10 laps they will have to complete 10 laps this is the final challenge all right let's move on Round three. Okay, so it's the final challenge. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. All three locos off. We're a good start there. We've got Coronation pulling away, followed closely by Flying Scotsman, but Mallard is lagging a little bit here. This is unbelievable. Coronation storming away there. We've got Flying Scotsman coming up the inside, but Mallard struggling to get away here. It's a one, two, three. It's all quite close on the first lap, so there we go. We're round. Coronation pulling away, but no, Flying Scotsman, what's going on here? The Flying Scotsman's pulling to lead, and Mallard's getting left behind here. So, Flying Scotsman, she goes round and she completes lap two, followed closely by Coronation, but where is Mallard? She's been left so far behind here. What's going on? Flying Scotsman has just got an absolute burst of speed here. So, Mallard completes lap two, and it's all go, go, go. Flying Scotsman bombing down the last section of track here to complete lap three. Followed closely by Coronation. That's three laps in the back for them. But Mallard has been absolutely left behind here. And now completes lap three. What is going on? Absolutely bombing round. Flying Scotsman completes lap four. She is just storming at the minute. This is fantastic performance from the Scotsman. And Coronation comes around there. Completes lap four. Not too far behind the Scotsman. She's doing really well. And Mallard still struggling here. She comes round as Flying Scotsman completes lap five. Mallard completes lap four. What is going on? Coronation now bombing down that final stretch before completing lap five. There we go. Five laps in the bag for Coronation and Scotsman. But Scotsman's coming around to almost finish another lap. That's it. She's finished six laps now. Mallard comes through to complete lap five. Coronation is flagging behind Flying Scotsman. And Mallard is just really struggling to keep anything going here. So as we're looking up the uh, coronation there, Flying Scotsman completes lap seven, but where is the coronation? There she goes, she completes lap, seven, uh, lap six, and Mallard is completed lap five. She is really far behind now. And Scotsman goes around to complete laps, lap eight. That is fantastic performance by the Scotsman. Even the coronation is flagging behind, she's just completed lap eight there. But she is so far behind the Scotsman, it's unbelievable. I mean, where has the Scotsman pull up? The Scotsman's just completed nine laps. What is going on? I can't believe this. Like, she's been struggling the past couple of rounds, but she's just pulled this out of the bag and she's got across the finish line to finish in first place with an impressive time of 2.14. So, eyes turn to the second place now. Coronation. Coronation's coming down to finish her last lap and she finishes in 2.25. What an absolute turn of events this is. And Mallard is still going. She has fallen so far behind the other two locos. She's just completed lap nine. She's got another lap to go, yeah. The other two have now finished well and truly ahead of the Mallard. And Mallard has still fallen behind. She's just coming up to the end of the lap now. 
She's got to come down the final straight and then she can cross the line. But this is a disappointing performance for the Mallard. There she goes. She crossed the line in 251. Wow. What a race that was. And Flying Scotsman absolutely outperformed the other two locos there, finishing an impressive 214. Fantastic event that was. All right. So there we go, folks. What an epic battle that was. That brings us to the end of round three. And yeah, that was just fantastic to watch. Proper battle going on there. And then just out of nowhere, the Flying Scotsman knocked it out of the park. Wow. I mean, what happened to Mallard? That was an absolute turnaround of events. Unbelievable. Anyway, so the results are in. Let's have a look and see what the overall times were. In first place, we have the Flying Scotsman who completed 10 laps in a phenomenal 2 minutes, 14 seconds, 0.43. Wow. That, just an absolute turnaround. Well done, Flying Scotsman. In second place, we've got Coronation. Coronation completed the 10 laps in 2 minutes, 25 seconds, 0.25. Coronation throughout this challenge has looked like the leader... I thought she was going to go on to win it, but no, she just couldn't compete with Scotsman in that last round. So, second place it is. And finally, third place goes to Mallard. Mallard completed the 10 laps in 2 minutes, 51 seconds, 0.31. Absolutely miles behind the Scotsman in the coronation. Mallard, what happened there? What happened there? Again, for the first two challenges, she kept quite close to the Scotsman and Coronation. She was actually in second place in round one and round two. But no, it just all fell apart in the last ten laps. Couldn't do the long haul, unfortunately. So yeah, third place goes to Mallard. So there we are, folks. Flying Scotsman, first place. Second place, Coronation. Mallard, third place. Wow. All right. So we're going to move on and we're going to look at the battle for fourth place. This is between the Sir Nigel Gresley and the fighter pilot. That's right. Battle for fourth place. We'll have a look at both their five laps and ten lap races. Okay, moving on. Battle for fourth place. Okay, so here we have the Battle of Fourth Place, and it's go, go, go. Fighter Pilot rockets off, and then followed by Sir Nigel Gresley. At the minute, Sir Nigel Gresley is lagging behind, and Fighter Pilot is in the lead. As you can probably tell, I've sped the footage up here because the laps were taking that long. I didn't want this to go on forever, but here we go. So Fighter Pilot's completed lap one, followed by Sir Nigel Gresley. Fighter Pilot has the lead here. Sir Nigel Gresley struggling to keep up. Fighter Pilot is way ahead now. Absolutely showing how it's done. Bear in mind this, this was actually quite slow, but still, there we go. Fighter Pilot is coming round for lap two now. And followed by Sir Nigel Gresley. There we go. That's two laps for Sir Nigel Gresley. Go, go, go. Here we are then. And Fighter Pilot really storming it now. Has left the Sir Nigel Gresley for dust here. Look at the hiss. And another lap completed for Fighter Pilot. That's three in the bag. Where is Sir Nigel Gresley? There we go. Sir Nigel Gresley's completed three laps. Oh, this is embarrassing for the Nigel Gresley. An A4 Pacific is being left in the dust. And Fighter, Fighter Pilot comes around again now. That's four laps completed for Fighter Pilot. She's nearly at the end. Just one more lap to go. And Sir Nigel Gresley gets four laps completed. So, she's now on to the last lap as well. What's going to be the finish time for these two locos? What is it going to be? Here comes Fighter Pilot in 2.11.65. There we go. That was a slow five laps for Fighter Pilot, but even slower still for Sir Nigel Gresley, who crosses the line in 225.50. There we are, folks. There we are. All right, so there we go. That brings us to the end of the five lap battle for fourth place. Yeah. So quite a slow one there from the Nigel Gresley and from the Fighter Pilot, but Fighter Pilot was a bit quicker. So the results are in. Let's have a look how they did. So what would we call this in for the five laps in fourth place I guess this would be we have fighter pilot with two minutes 11 seconds 0.65 so two minutes 11 seconds to complete five laps yeah I know compared to the other ones that's like 30 40 seconds slower not good and then in fifth place for the five laps would be the Sir Nigel Gresley 
with a, a finish time of 2 minutes 25 seconds 0 0.50 so a good sort of 14 seconds behind the fighter pilot there so the Sir Nigel Gresley was definitely the slowest loco yeah it's not looking good it's not looking good for this battle for fourth place let's move on to the 10 lapper now and see how they get on so here we go this is it folks this is the last challenge for these two locos in the, and they're off 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 let's go 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 fighter pilot stretches into the lead followed closely by Sir Nigel Gresley not a bad start to begin with but fighter pilot is pulling away this is going to be it this is going to determine who gets fourth place that's one lap for fighter pilot already followed by Sir Nigel Gresley fighter pilot is leading here nine laps to go nine laps to go this is it this is a battle for fourth place who will cinch this I think it's clear to all of us who's going to get it but to be honest who knows there we go that's two laps for each loco two laps for each loco and it's neck and neck at the minute but fighter pilot is just edging a edging ahead of Sir Nigel Gresley can she get ahead or will Sir Nigel Gresley get this it's neck and neck down this back straight here as we go around to complete lap three that's three in the bag for each loco who will get this who will get this there's no clear winner at the minute fighter pilot now is storming ahead she's down the back straight and she's coming around to complete another lap that's it she's on four laps and sir nigel gresley is flagging what's going on sir nigel she's lost it she is losing the pace here and fighter pilot is storming ahead so sir nigel gresley is slowing down what is happening here and fighter pilot goes around again and she's going to be completing five laps that's five laps for fighter pilot but where is the nigel gresley there we go she crosses the line for five laps now we've got a definite winner so fighter pilot is pushing ahead and that's six six laps in the bag for fighter pilot what is going on here i think we've got a clear winner she is absolutely storming ahead now and sir nigel gresley crosses the line for six laps there is absolutely a big gap developing between these two locos sir nigel gresley cannot keep up and fighter pilot goes around and completes seven laps it's got a significant lead over the other loco now she's absolutely storming there goes sir nigel gresley crossing the line for seven laps fighter pilot is absolutely nailing it here she's going around and she's completed eight laps but where is the Sir Nigel Gresley? She's been left for dust here. There we go, there's eight laps for Sir Nigel Gresley. And A4 Pacific has been left behind by the Battle of Britain class. And that's nine laps completed for the fighter pilot. That's nine laps. And Sir Nigel Gresley is massively behind. She is really struggling here. She can't even keep up with this locomotive. There we go, that's nine laps completed for the Sir Nigel Gresley. So eyes turn to the fighter pilot as she's heading to the finish line and she's over for four minutes 15. Four minutes 15 there for fighter pilot and sir nigel gresley is coming up to the finish now and she crosses the line in four minutes 32 so there's 15 seconds difference well there we go folks that's the 10 lap challenge completed for both sir nigel gresley and fighter pilot and what a big difference between the two i think we've got our confirmed fourth place that's right so the results are in and in reverse order in the fifth place for the 10 laps, we have Sir Nigel Gresley with a dismal time of four minutes, 32 seconds, 0.81. Four minutes, 32. That's ridiculous. Compared to the Flying Scotsman that was 2.14. That's like double the time. That is ridiculous. But commiserations, Sir Nigel Gresley. You tried, you tried, and you failed. <laughs> so that means our fourth place victor, if you will, is Fighter Pilot. Fighter Pilot completed the 10 laps in a slow time of 4 minutes, 15 seconds, 0.28. 4 minutes, 15. So... Fighter Pilot managed to beat Sir Nigel Gresley by 15 seconds there in that last battle. 15 seconds difference. Well done, Fighter Pilot. Fourth place is securely yours. So, there we go. Let's move on now to the final, final results. Basically, we're going to look at the total time for the entire challenge for each loco. Let's go. Well, there we go, everybody. That brings us to the end of the time trial. That was exciting stuff, and it was a close-fought battle by the top three locos there. But we do have a winner. So, the results are in. We'll do this in reverse order, and we'll see what the final standings are. So, in fifth place, we have Sir Nigel Gresley with a total finish time of 8 minutes point 
1.06 seconds. Wow. That is a long time. <laughs> As you saw from the videos, it was a slow loco. Moving on, in fourth place, we have Fighter Pilot with a total finish time of 7 minutes 23 seconds.05. Again, a bit faster than the Sir Nigel Gresley, but still a lot slower than the top three. Moving on to the top three then, we have in third place, it is the Mallard, with a total finish time of 4 minutes 47 seconds.91. Now then, second place. For the first two rounds, it did not look like this was going to finish second. It looked like we had a clear winner, but that last time trial was the big decider. So, in second place, we have the Coronation, finishing in a total time of 4 minutes, 13 seconds and 49. Which means that somehow, this loco has gone from being third place all the way through to absolutely smashing it on the last round. It is the Flying Scotsman. The Flying Scotsman takes pole position. In an absolute twist of events, this locomotive has gone from being a solid third place throughout the time trial and smashed it in the last round with a total time of 4 minutes 12 seconds point nine six. absolutely just cinched it in that last round so there we go folks Flying Scotsman, Coronation, Mallard, Fighter Pilot and Sir Nigel Gresley there we go, there we go <laughs> what an event that was so there we go I think we learned a lot today despite what's on paper despite what you think yeah that train's gonna absolutely nail it no in an absolute flip what looked like to be a failing locomotive the flying Scotsman just pulled it out the bag and there she got first place by less than a second oh well fantastic times fantastic times so that pretty much brings us to the end of the video now. I'll just wrap things up. What did you reckon to that? Is this something you'd like to see more of? Should we do uh, time trials with different locos? We could maybe get some diesels on the go. We can get some 040 steam locomotives on the go. Get some smaller trains and stuff. Yeah, just let us know what you think. Is it something we should try again? Ah. Right, I'm going to get everything packed away and going to go chill out for a little bit now because I'm a bit tired <laughs> after all that. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you're all keeping well. Stay safe and just take care of yourselves and I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Let's just take a look at your winner then folks. There she is, the Flying Scotsman. Well, after all those troubles, she pulled it out the bag. She pulled it out of the bag. There you go. What a beast. Right. Once again, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. Bye.